welcome back to October. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is an October video, so it means it could be a Walt Disney Wednesday or Friday or Monday, so we call them Walt Disney whatevers this month. I post more videos in October and a lot more in December, so check out the subscribe button and the clicky bell button to get notified so you don't miss any of them because we got some cute things coming up for you guys. All right, with that, today I'm doing Anastasia and Drizella. Instead of doing the evil stepmother, I decided to do these two characters. For one, they're bright and cheery, and I feel like we needed a little bright and cheery in this October mix because everything was dark and black except for Queen of Hearts because she's red and I love her. Anyways, I decided to dress Anna and I up Anna and me up, I detest when people use I incorrectly, and so I decided to dress Anna and me up for this character duo, and we had so much fun with this because they're a piece of work, and they're so fun, and I feel like this whole series has pulled me a little out of my element because I'm not used to doing villains so much. I don't really like the villains that much. I'm a princess kind of girl, and all the fun, cute, Woody, and Buzz, and all that, so anyways, um, this was really fun for us, so let's get going. All right guys, so you're gonna notice that I actually did this tutorial with a different t-shirt and a different design, but it's the same concept and we used the same color scheme and I just uh, did three different colors. Now, this would be really cute on little girls, but when I finished this project and I was done with these t-shirts, I realized they were just way too small for me and Anna. So I redid them on some larger t-shirts, um, even though I thought these t-shirts were really cute. Okay, so with three designs, um, or three different colors, I'm gonna do three different layers at a time. This is the rose gold iron-on, available on shopantitay.com, and then the um, neon pink and the regular pink. The regular pink we actually had in the summer box, so you'll have some of that, and then the neon pink was actually in our um, back to school box so you might have some of that so with this design I kind of made it crooked because I thought it was cute because the um, evil stepsisters are a little like hot messes so I thought it would be cute to make the design just a little bit crooked um, I did the same thing on the shirts that we actually wore to the park as well so for Drizella it's the same thing uh, we used this bright green this uh, aqua and this green glitter these were all available or the two greens not the jade are available were available in the um, back to school box so if you have that you have these two colors and then the jade was actually in the summer box okay so I started with sweet because it kind of helped me line up the design exactly where I wanted it and then I crooked nightingale and I did sing or and I was able to do the top one at the same time because they didn't overlap and then I just took that all off and again it takes longer than it looks because I have editing powers in the videos but um, each layer takes about 30 seconds and then I'm just gonna go over this one more time glitter is super durable so you can go over it without plastic and I just love that because it makes it on there really good and I'm just gonna take my plastic off and then we're good to go All right, guys, and you cannot be Anastasia and Drizella with some out without some obnoxious bows. So for these, I was going to make Mickey ears, but then I decided I just wanted to make us ridiculously huge bows. So all I did was take a piece of fabric in a couple different colors, and I made two different bows. I made a really big one. So I did not measure. I just kind of cut a big piece of fabric. Um, this fabric I got at Joann's and then I just folded in the fabric almost all the way to the middle, um, but I wanted it nice and big so I didn't go all the way to the middle. And then I just folded in the corners which will um, prevent those little corners from sticking out when you scrunch the actual bow together. So for Drizella, I did a lime green fabric and a polka dot subtle green fabric and layered those. And then I had some leftover ribbon um, just from some other projects and I used those. So I'm just going to scrunch this by using an accordion method to get to the center. And then um, I'm going to use a little piece of ribbon to tie it off in the middle. And I, again, just had a little scrap of ribbon. And you can cover this up later when you attach the bows if you want as well. 
but you don't have to. Um, so use whatever ribbon you want. You can pick some up from the craft store if you need to as well. So I'm just gonna tie this in a knot, which is an easy way to keep the bow together and cut those off. And I'm just gonna make another bow out of the other fabric the same exact way. Just make it a little bit smaller so that when you layer them, um, they don't. it doesn't cover the other one up completely. So I'm using the same exact technique. This one I actually folded to the middle and I didn't even hot glue it down um, because it just was working out. So then I just use some ribbon, tie it together just like the other bow, and then cut off so that there's little excess pieces and we're gonna just layer those together just like that. And then I'm just gonna tie them together with a piece of ribbon or I'm gonna glue them together. <laughs> but now that I'm watching this and doing the voiceover, I think, hey, it would probably be easy just to tie them together. Okay, so then I took this fun ribbon I had left over in my ribbon stash and I just made a funky, like little curly extra piece because again, Anastasia and Drizella are just uh, really obnoxious and the bigger and the more colors you can use for this and the more obnoxious things you can have is better. And then I'm gonna do the same exact thing for Anastasia or for yeah Anastasia's bow. And then I just made it a little crooked on a headband that I already had. Um, I'll put in my Amazon store these headbands. I think I already have them in my Amazon store actually. Look under Mickey ears if you're looking for headbands like this. And then I did the same thing for the pink one and then that's all I needed. Mm -hmm.